mean like what was your sales uh, one product per week and uh, in october diwali uh, we crossed more than 10 lakhs absolutely there is no struggle frankly in amazon uh, it is super easy much before diwali i was completely out of stock All right, today we have Ms. Pallavi Chauhan with us, who is my student from Hired Advertiser and has achieved a phenomenal result in our program and has actually made to Hall of Fame. So first of all, Pallavi Chauhan, welcome and congratulations on making to Hall of Fame. So Pallavi, let's start with your journey. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about you, your background, and when did you start selling on Amazon? Uh, okay, my name is Pallavi Chauhan and I'm a manufacturer, MSME registered manufacturer. Uh, my product are paper products. So I'm in the category of home and kitchen. Um, I'm a seller since four years uh, on Amazon uh, from 1917, uh, 2017. Uh, that's when my journey started. Great. So uh, you, were, you are a manufacturer home and kitchen category and 2017 you started your journey right okay so could you tell us what were some of your struggles before you joined the program like uh since you were selling on amazon there would there would be some challenges or struggles that you would be facing right predominantly uh, uh, not just for me and i'm saying this for every seller the only struggle is the sales so there was absolutely no sales and really did not know how to kind of work on that to get good sales. Uh, so that was the biggest challenge. Okay. So when you say that you were struggling with sales or to increase the sales, uh, how much were you selling like in, in the year 2017? Like what was your sales? Uh, one product per week. Okay. So it's as good as zero. As good as zero. Okay. So you uh, are a manufacturer. You started selling on Amazon in the year 2017. Uh, you were just selling one product a week. So what did you do in order to increase your sales? Like, like Frankly, you... did not know anything much, you know, and 2017, even Amazon was just, I think, three, four years old in India. Yes. So even the seller support was not much, uh, you know, uh, knowledgeable. They could not much guide. So frankly, nothing. I mean, they, I could not get help anywhere. And uh, there was a lot of offline also happening that time. So did not feel the heat much when I didn't have online. Okay. Okay. It, it was only post COVID when we realized that all the doors are closed. Right. So apart from Amazon, like, do you also sell on offline, like in offline market space? Yes. Yes. Okay. So that's, that was your primary business. Then you, sh then you also started with online, but you're not getting much sales. Right. Uh, in the year 2017. So where where exactly did you find us uh, or me? YouTube. Okay, you know, so that's when I was typing, you know, how to increase Amazon sales. <laughs> and this was, this was probably your uh, main uh, keyword, as we say. The keyword <laughs> is the main keyword of everything now. Um, uh, so that's when I found your videos and I went through your videos and in every video that you have, uh, you know, on YouTube videos, there was so much information that you had given. And that's when I thought I need to connect to you because, you know, you were honestly giving so much information in just the YouTube videos. I thought I'll connect to you. Okay. So you found, so you uh, found us on YouTube. You were following me for, let's say like a couple of days or weeks or how much was it time? No, no, immediately, immediately. Okay. In fact, uh, yeah, you have lots of videos, uh, uh, on uh, YouTube. So the moment I typed uh, how to increase sales on Amazon, uh, yours was the first one. Okay. So you found us on YouTube, uh, you were watching my videos and then uh, the next step that you took was uh, also enrolling in our workshop, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So tell us your experience. Okay. First of all, like, why did you enroll in the workshop? But like, what was the objective that you were thinking to, you know, enroll in the workshop? Uh, as I said, uh, you know, I saw that you have got a lot of, uh, you know, tricks or hacks, as you said, and say to increase the sales, 
and uh, i thought that was really very interesting and uh, this whatever you taught was very technical i mean there are formula based it's not like just uh, you know have me back ye hum sales increase karke denge there are a lot of people who talk like that and there are a lot of youtube channels but you were not like that you were quite systematic approach so i like that and that's when i thought that no this is the one i need to go for because okay. you know everything was quite uh, uh, formula based and that's what i liked about it so you enrolled in the five day workshop uh, so how was your experience with five day workshop had you the five day workshop itself was which so much content that uh, there was no doubt that your uh, hra will be uh, more than that because the five day workshop itself if uh, frankly if i tell you it's complete in its own way the five day workshop there is so much information content in that five day workshop so if i was to tell you that uh, uh, you know uh, you do five day workshop and you're good to go you are good to go but if you really want to increase your sales multiple times then hra is must okay so let's say uh, you completed your five day workshop and then what made you really move you know to hra so what 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 thought was coming before you you know were investing in hra or why did you even decide to go with hra like what the, what was that one or two things that you wanted to uh, as i as i said you know um, the 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 five day workshop was so much content so much so mm-hmm. i frankly on the same day when you said uh, you know at the end of the five day workshop you said enroll it i took it took me only five minutes Okay. You know, probably I I could have been in the first uh, couple of them who had enrolled because the five day workshop itself was so much content. You had given so much information. Amazing. So obviously in HRA you will give so much more, and uh, that's that was the uh, you know game changer. Right. So let's talk now about your journey with HRA. So you enrolled into HRA. uh so what was your sales okay which month were we talking about that you enrolled in hra uh month of may month of may uh, yeah may 21 yeah okay may 21 and that time your sales were still one a week or was it uh if not even one a week because uh, by that time amazon had actually blocked the account uh for other reasons so i had to get get it reactivated so you can say it was zero okay wow so before you entered hra it was a uh, you were at zero sales and talk us your journey from uh, now currently how much are you making on amazon uh monthly uh, uh, i'm crossing five lakhs and uh, in october diwali uh, we crossed more than 10 lakhs Wow. So overall, uh, more than twenty twenty two lakhs as of now. So, are you talking about twenty one lakhs aggregated or in a month? Uh, no, aggregated over last three four months. Okay, now current sales are around eight. Uh, more than five lakhs. More than five lakhs. So you went from zero to five lakhs selling on Amazon monthly, approximately. Yeah. Okay. So tell us your journey. Like, how did you went from zero to five lakhs? Uh, what did you implement in HR? How did you start? Because you were all almost like a beginner then, right? When you have zero sales. Oh, your HRA just follow till the T, you know, step by step, whatever. Right from uh, listing optimization, that took a major time, because that is the first uh, main crux of the whole thing. Uh, did that, and I just followed your program till the T. Absolutely, it is now that I'm trying a few other things because now I'm like well versed with everything, but just followed your steps. step by step that that is the that that's the main thing. and how do you feel about the program like let's say you enrolled in the program what how was the experience the content or let's say uh, the like units that we do or the community that we have uh your program is nothing less than a proper masters degree in <laughs> in amazon <laughs> if you were in fact uh, include few more modules it will be in masters degree of amazon university something like that okay. it was that uh, that exhausted okay and how much time do you think you took uh, in the start when you were watch i mean how many hours were you were you giving in hra per day or per week approximately in the start 
it was uh, it was quite some time because you know i was as i said i was like following it till the t i used to look at your uh, uh, you know videos try it out again steps try it out so it did take some time but i understood and i took down the notes and like actually learning it in the school and i did that and that helped that really helped and that was just a one time effort you don't have to do it again because once you learn it and you are giving all the excel files and you giving you giving everything in in a platter so uh, that helped and how, how do you feel about the so a lot of people who come into our program they uh the one thing that they are really struggling or some people like that extreme views some people really love some people feel like that i mean that is very difficult to master is bulk files uh what's your take on that bulk files like how do you feel that process because very very few people actually are able to even carry it out how was your experience with that uh frankly they are super easy maybe i am saying that because that's my personal experience because uh, i come from an uh, mis background uh -huh. okay i'm yeah. come from a banking sector and i come from mis background so i found them you know fairly simple in fact they're quite stru structured and you have taught us what goes in where column a and column b is what you're saying in your videos so it's fairly simple fairly simple nice okay amazing okay what was that one thing that you would say like was a game changer for you like let's say in hr that you think uh, that one or two things that you learned is literally like the game changer for your business oh uh, in fact the whole hra program mm -hmm. or i would say uh, the five day program okay the five day program was a game changer because if i had not attended the five day program i would have never come to know what hra is so um uh that was it and in hra the, every module is a game changer and uh, especially um uh, what give gave me real good sales was uh, your diwali uh, diwali sales module okay wow so you use like all the keywords that we used in diwali you extracted that and started bidding on them was yes. that yes wow wow amazing and uh what would you say like how confident do you feel now after undergoing the program implementing it getting really good results going from 0 to 5 lakhs now how how do you feel about yourself like do you feel confident that you can keep uh growing on amazon do you don't you don't need to be dependent on other people super confident in fact uh, um the sales i'm actually building a lot of strategy around that and as for the strategy i am changing the uh, what you call the ad campaigns you know you have taught us the basic formula now when i am so confident that even if i change my business strategy i can change my campaigns as per my business strategy uh, i'm that confident wow. so i have my own uh, campaign strategies now wow. wow very good and how many products are you selling approximately now Oh, uh, I have around hundred products. Hundred products, okay. And your average selling price is? Uh, between three hundred to five hundred. Okay. And are you someone who is doing Amazon FBA, Flex, or uh, Easy Ship, or all three? Easy Ship. You do all all. Yeah, these. I'm on Prime, so Prime. Nice. Okay. so what what is your tip to people who actually are struggling on amazon and thinking like you know uh, they cannot do good uh, you know maybe they are struggling since years they are not getting the sales maybe the same same situation that you are maybe in 2017 what would you say to those kind of people oh there is nothing for them to think about hra is the one point solution for everything absolutely there is no struggle frankly in amazon uh, it is super easy uh, you all of them have to you know at least take on your five day program even that is sufficient if they think they want to go for hra nothing like it they'll get booping sales <laughs> uh, so all of them i would uh, you know want all of them to know that this really was your program was a real game changer and then there is no looking back absolutely no looking back 
so there is no struggle frankly people who are thinking that there is a struggle let me tell you there is no struggle after hra and during hra and there is absolutely you have made things so simple for us that now it doesn't look like a struggle in fact it's fairly simple amazing now uh uh just wanted to understand towards the end like what what exactly is your goal now so you have already achieved five like what is your next goal that you want to fit oh uh, yeah the next obviously is the uh, the next uh, five lakhs as you have you know you have those uh, different clubs and i'm going by that <laughs> uh, for which again i have another strategy i'm going to add up a few uh, not same products in the same category but another category i will add a few more products that started manufacturing that so uh, i'm sure uh, you know i will get more sales again the product line is uh, of a higher ticket size uh, so it's easier to kind of uh, achieve your targets uh, earlier with a higher ticket size product right. amazing and what would be your profit margin approximately right now let's say grow or net profit margin on your business a uh, profit margin is around 20% is it net after all the expenses yes yes It is that a keeps of yeah that that also keeps fluctuating depends upon the a cost, uh, but more or less that's the that's the one. Wow, that's amazing! All right, so uh, Pallavi, we are coming to the end of the interview, and uh, you know, I I really wish that you uh, right now what you are doing has been a phenomenal journey. I've never seen people starting from zero in my program and achieving little bit, you know, like in just few short months. achieving a really good mark so that really shows me that you are a true action taker you believe in investment you believe in learning and growing um and uh, being a manufacturer i know it's not that easy to give and dedicate time to learning so much because i know every module of mine has couple of hours to go through and it's little bit technical people have to go it over and over again to understand and amazon advertising itself is a complex subject to break it down to simpler terms and then giving time to it itself is so challenging So again, congratulations, Pallavi Chauhan, Thank for you. achieving uh, really amazing sales in such a short period of time. And I wish you all the best. Next time we come around, I would literally like to see you in the ten lakh, twenty lakh, uh, you know, club. <laughs> of course, sure, sure, hundred percent, yeah. Okay, that's awesome, right? That they have picked up. Uh, they have picked up. Uh, you know, from the store, they have picked up. a few of these things that you know like a mixed basket so, so you, how are you tracking the store like are you going to store analytics and tracking like how yes i am doing that right so like and i can come to know also from the pattern of the buying because in one in one buy in one invoice there are variety of products hmm. which uh, if they had not gone to the store it was difficult for them to buy it on on the you know the main page got it okay so are you also a part of high income seller program that we have no ah uh, okay so high income seller program is uh, so in the start like we had also started with high income seller program so it's like a the one which you are talking about right from scratch uh, amazon fba onboarding setting up account finding products research everything is there and uh, like basics of advertising uh, until then getting up reviews all these were things were there like how to find suppliers branding uh this product was already there but we are not marketing it much because uh, i mean we were more focused towards uh, you know existing sellers uh, because there was a huge vacuum in the market uh, in terms of nobody was teaching amazon advertising there are still some people who were teaching how to sell on amazon and you know the basic one so we started in the start but then we you know did not move forward like we did two couple of batches and then i mean uh, my focus was more towards hra and uh, that is why so we do have that program as well uh, but we do not uh, convert like we do not teach a plus listing all these because they are beginners they don't even have brand registry so uh, definitely that is there now we are also coming up with a new program maybe it's going to be launching uh, next week uh it's going to be uh, a program for people who have already done hr and want to go to the next level so all these things that you're talking about um uh you know a plus listing a uh, brand store a uh, sponsor brand videos sponsor brands how to set up why like all those things, sponsor display ads uh, remarketing ads there are so many ads which has come up 
uh, three, you know, like then there are clusters where you can increase your sales. There's so many other aspects to that. So, you know, setting up reviews on autopilot, uh, then, uh, how to you track your profits down correctly. Uh, all these things, uh, we, I mean, uh, you know, we are planning to, you know, roll out like, uh, for people, but it's going to be an application based uh, program where we are going to select only few people who are doing already good there like because we want a quality people going on in the next level not like everyone should be able to go so definitely that is there in the radar so look out for that uh, it will be posted in telegram group maybe today or tomorrow and we are going to do a two day event after that we are going to uh, you know talk about that program on the second day so maybe you will have a clearer idea what we are going to come up with and this might help you yeah yeah sure okay uh, any more things like, uh, and thank you for taking out the time on Sunday. I know it's a uh, little bit busy for uh, you as well. It's a family time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what, 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 what do your husband do? Like uh, uh, he's also into the same business or. Uh, yes, frankly, I was from a banking sector. Um, uh, like 20, yeah. At, for more than 22 years, I worked in a bank. Okay. Bank. I, yeah, so I uh, look, I quit that job to kind of join him. He is a manufacturer. Okay. And uh, as I said, for last 25 years, we have this uh, manufacturing sector. But, um, uh, you know, he looked at only those, uh, the offline sales or customized products. So the product that I'm uh, we're working on, he was a supplier. I mean, oh. he just kind of, he never thought of making a brand of our own manufactured product. Right. Okay. Uh, Okay, so I mean, we we supply it to other brands, or okay. we supply it to other companies. He was doing OEM, or he was doing branding for other people, like you know, exactly. So you know, label. just just exactly. manufacturing and sticking their label. Yeah, correct. Ah. So that's when I said that you know why don't we do it for ourselves? I mean, we do it for others, other companies, and he has got a real good range of companies. So uh, the quality is good because the good companies are coming to us, and why don't we have the same quality for ourselves? Yep. But obviously, as you rightly said in one of your statements, it's difficult for a manufacturer to do, sure. uh, you know, uh, sales and uh, uh, it, it's difficult. Either you manufacture or you kind of sell. I mean, it's both is not possible. But uh, I looked at this other angle and that's when I kind of developed this entire channel. Nice. Very good. So you are into paper products? Uh, paper products, yeah. Okay. So we are uh, into diabetes and uh, gift paper bags and uh, pa all paper products basically. Nice. So all these years we made diaries as per the company's requirement. Like, you know, a Tata uh, motor would tell us that, okay, we want a diary by our name and we made it and give it to them. Nice. Now you are producing your own. So diaries are doing better in terms of december and the new year is that the exactly thing? exactly so my entire uh, entire business is a little bit of uh, uh, season seasonal and that's where i i said your diwali um, uh, diwali module uh, which there was one more you did just before diwali you won't believe that uh, when i ran that module uh, and i was really really well stocked on all the products much before Diwali, I was completely out of stock. Wow. Only by running your uh, module that you told us, you know, uh, that Diwali module was like, uh, I don't know whether to be happy about it or sad, because <laughs> uh, uh, everything, and I, the entire factory was full with uh, my products. Go on. It was super duper, super duper. Absolutely. I mean, people, uh, my staff, factory staff were constantly sending me photographs rack one empty rack two empty ma'am rack three also empty i said now <laughs> no, i said now what do we do we are like closing uh, close to diwali and we are like so before even diwali hit you were out of stock yeah i was out of stock wow so you missed the entire diwali sales uh, not much i kind of pulled on with a few products i did manage somehow but you know, manufacturing, it's not easy to manufacture yes. just in two days. Yes. If it was trading, yes, I would have just called up the supplier and, you know, wait though. But uh, it was not possible for me to. So you all know. your best selling items, which were out of stock, that were out of stock only. Like you could not. Uh, yes. Oh, so you managed with other products that you had. Yeah, I managed with other products. I mean, I uh, immediately changed those other products 
with uh, the uh, keyword Diwali, Diwali into that, and uh, then people could see those other products and Diwali products. So it's a good lesson that maybe the next year you should be very well prepared with the amount of stock and everything. Yes, uh, this year uh, I did not know the magic of your uh, module. No? Even so, I didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, I I mean I thought, but not like the way because it's a seasonal business. I mean, it, it I mean the things affect differently to different categories. Uh, maybe for you it just did very well. For some it will be doing good, but not like that great, you know. So correct. <laughs> so mine is the seasonal now again for Christmas. We we have got Christmas products, paper products. So obviously Christmas is really doing well. Okay. Nice. So like December is again a really good month for you. Yes. Yes. Nice. Very good. And where are you based out of? Mumbai. Wow. Which, where exactly in Mumbai? Uh, we have, uh, we are in uh, Malad. Uh, uh, you know, this area, Mindspace. Okay. Mindspace. I've been there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, Infinity 2, the one at Malad, just next to that. That's, okay. that's the entire, uh, there's a corporate area there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I've been to, I've been to Mindspace. Yeah. So. So that's where I have my office and factory. Oh, that's amazing. All right. That was really good talking to you, Pallavi. And I'll see you around in HRA and in the next program, if possible. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, Viral. I'm so happy to be with you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Likewise, likewise. All the best, Pallavi. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.